Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at Science of Speed's billet aluminum door handles and I'm really excited. So when I'm in the NSX and I open the door, now this is me, my personal feeling, it's got a very plasticky feel and I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of worried that I'm going to break the door handles so I'm always consciously and subconsciously thinking about it. So this is a really neat project because I've been wanting to do it for a long time and also Science of Speed gave us a discount which is cool because we're going to be showing you how to install it and we're going to give you some feedback and this should be a lot of fun. All right, let's start. Our first step is we have to remove this door card. So essentially what we want to do is we want to pull this door handle and we're going to want to kind of guide ourselves in the back with the tool and push out. All right. And now we're going to be removing some gold and black screws. So we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver and we're going to remove these screws to release the door handle. And now we're going to go ahead and remove the door handle, trying to be gentle as possible and then remove the plug that was right here. And then at this point in time, we're able to reach in here and we're going to be taking some stuff off. So I'm actually going to be using the little packing material that Science of Speed gave us. I'm going to put it underneath it, underneath the door handle. And the reason why is because we don't want to scratch anything. And then at this point in time, my goal is to move this wire over here to take it off of this little lever action here. Okay, let's go ahead and try to remove this top part. Now essentially, all I'm gonna do is push over and out. So this part is out. And I'm taking a picture, and now we're gonna remove it. All right, so we took a picture of where it went and now the handle is loose. So let's go ahead and take it to the workbench. And at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this spring. I'm using my little tool again. And just being careful because we don't wanna deform the spring. And we're gonna put the spring here. At this point in time, our uh, handle is kinda loose. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove some screws that are behind these little black caps right here. I'm gonna use this X-Acto knife and see if I can pry up on it. I think the X-Acto knife is gonna work the best because I just, you see that right there guys? So I'm peeling back on it and I wanna keep those so I'm gonna put them over here. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. There we go. And I got that one as well. We're going to go ahead and do the other side. And the reason why this is important is because when you pull the mechanism out, essentially it's hiding the screw. So it's an, an aesthetic thing. So I want to see if I could be very careful with this one because this one's definitely the top one. I got that top one out pretty nicely. And then we're going to do this one. I'm going to pry up on one side. And I'm going to use the pick. To get it. So I found a Phillips that I feel comfortable with to remove these screws. So let's go ahead and do that. And they come out pretty nicely, so I like that. There was no major 
resistance. Take off the other one. I think that was just spinning in place there. Let's go ahead and do this side. As you turn the screw, the bottom portion is spinning. When removing this screw, you need to hold the bottom little bracket part that connects to the screw in order for you to take it out. So we're gonna to try to remove this C-clip, but if you look over here, this is the mechanism that goes to the door handle, and this is the actual door handle bracket. And this part up here is plastic, so when, tr when you're trying to remove the C-clip, you want to make sure that you don't flex this too much or break this, because if you do, then this whole door handle assembly is no good. Let me see if I get behind. Sometimes getting behind the C-clip is better than trying to push it out. Okay, I got it out, and um, here it is. And I'm going to explain it on the next one how I did it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold one side of the C-clip with the pick so it doesn't rotate when I'm pushing down on it. And then with another, with the flathead, I'm going to push down on it to get it off. Boom. And it's off. So it's a lot easier doing it like that. So let's show you over here real quick if you guys could see. So this is... Let's say hypothetically this is the C-clip, it's in there. So what you have to do is you have to hold it down with one side because if, if you push down the C-clip, it's just going to rotate on the cylinder or on the rod. So with a pick, you're going to hold down one side and you're going to push down on the other side and it should come right off. Okay, so at this point we're going to just remove these rods so we can get the assembly out right here. Remove that rod. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of note it. This was the top rod, and so I'm for my personal self, that's going to be top. And we're going to move the bottom one. I'm kind of like moving it back and forth to wiggle it out. We got that one out. At this point in time, we should be able to get some stuff out of here. Okay, so we have this part out. And then there we go, we could finesse that out. So right off the top, some neat observations. When I pick this up, it's very light, um, has a decent feel to it, the regular NSX door handle feel. But when we pick this up, definitely a heavier feel to it. We're gonna do a quick test fit, and look at that. That's science of speeds, and that actually looks pretty good. It matches the color, doesn't stand out, and I'm really excited to see how it feels. So let's go ahead and start uh, putting it together. So it looks like this part should be probably the most straightforward part of all of them. We're just gonna put the cylinder inside here. And then we're gonna navigate the C-clip inside there. All right, there it goes. Okay, we have it in there, and uh, putting in the C-clip is a pain in the butt, to be honest with you, but we got it in there. So you could tell we had a little bit of scratch as the new door handle, but it's inside, so not too much of a big concern. All right, let's move on to the second part. All right, so I almost missed the part here, and uh, so this little piece is the bottom side of where the screws go on there, because I was like, why am I not how am I supposed to do this? But this connects to this. I should have done this whenever um, this was out, but I think we can make it work still. So. And then this slides in here. And then this slides over that.
And now we can put the screws in there with Loctite. Not too much, just enough for them to go in. Definitely want to do this one right because this Loctite is going to bond. All right, so I got them both in there. At this point in time, I'm just going to lock them down. Not a lot, just, just about like there. All right, then I'm going to get a paper towel. I'm just going to wipe off any Anything to do with the uh, Loctite, because I don't want that on the new handle. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put these on the screw heads. See if we can... I'm going to line them and then get a, a pencil and try to push down on them instead of using something metal. Okay, now I'm going to use this eraser and see if I could just pop them down in there. I think they're good. All right. Okay, now we just have to put the spring in here. So let's see. I'm going to do spring. Spring went right here. And that's it, we are done. We have assembled it, it looks good, and the handle works good, so let's go ahead and put it back in the car. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the reverse install, and we're gonna install our cable first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our phone. The reason why we took a picture is just to make sure that we put it back the way that we uh, had it. That'd be one, two. All right, let's push down. Looks right, and then we're gonna put this bad boy on here. And now we're gonna connect our electrical connector. So we're gonna go ahead and save the trouble of you white guys watching, and we'll just put the screws back in and uh, show you the finished product. All right guys, and it is installed, and I like it. At first, the door handle was getting caught on something, and I found out that it was the door card wasn't installed there correctly. So, so now we're good. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, guys. <laughs> that feels good. So what I wanted the door handles for is exactly what I was hoping for, and that's a strong, confident pull on it. So... It actually feels really good. Let's give it a shot again. Yep. That feels really strong. Well, you can't beat that, guys. That looks great, feels great, and it is a great aftermarket option for a door handle in case something happens to yours or if you just want a kind of a more confident feel. All right, guys, and that concludes the installation. Well, I'm happy with it, but I do have to be honest and say that it is not a really easy task. You definitely want to take your time, take photos, and remember where things go. That's my best advice for this project. But overall, with the instructions that Science of Speed gives you with this video, and if you need any questions, I'm sure Science of Speed will help answer that. I think it's a great product. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you, Science of Speed. We appreciate the, the small discount. And thank you guys for supporting the channel as well. You guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.